Postulate four is the angle addition postulate. This postulate tells us that if two angles have a common side and vertex, then the measures of the two angles is equal to the measure of the angle formed by the non-shared sides. All right, I know that was really confusing, so let's look at the drawing. If I have this angle here, angle BAC, and then I have another angle that shares side AC and also has vertex A. So notice how my top angle has side AC and my bottom angle also has side AC, and both these angles has a vertex A. Then I can add these two angles together to equal the big angle BAD. So in the diagram we just drew, we see that the measure of angle BAC, so the measure of that top angle, plus the measure of angle CAD, the bottom angle, equals the measure of angle BAD, the big angle here. There we go. So the two smaller ones can be added to equal that bigger one. So given the diagram below and the fact that angle LKN, okay, let's find angle LKN. We have LKN, so this angle here, the big one, is 145 degrees. We want to find the measure of angle LKM, the left angle, and the measure of angle MKN, the right angle. Take a moment, try to solve this problem on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. Okay, since these two angles share side MK, or KM, we can use our angle addition postulate we can say that the left angle, which is 2x plus 10, plus the right angle, which is 4x minus 3, equals the entire big angle, which is 145 degrees. Using algebra, we combine like terms, so we get 6x plus 7 equals 145. Subtract 7 from both sides, we get 6x equals 138 divide by 6 and we get x equals 23. But we're not done yet. The problem asks us to solve for the left and right angle. So we plug this value in. We know the measure of angle LKM equals 2x plus 10. So this equals 2 times 23 plus 10, which ends up being 56 degrees. This means that the measure of angle MKN is going to be 145 minus 56, or 89 degrees. You could have also plugged the 23 into 4x minus 3 to solve for the measure of angle MKN. But those are our two angles. Let's try another one. Given that angle KLM is a straight angle, I want you to find the measure of angle KLN and the measure of angle NLM. So we know this entire thing is straight. We want to find the measure of the left angle and the measure of the right angle. Again, try this on your own first and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. Okay, that's a straight angle, tells us the entire angle is 180 degrees. We do have a shared side, so we can add the two smaller angles together. 10x minus 5 plus 4x plus 3 is going to equal 180. We get 14x minus 2 equals 180. This means that 14x equals 182, x equals 13. We can then plug this in to find the measure of angle KLN, which will equal 10 times 13 minus 5, and that reduces to 125 degrees. If that angle is 125, 